How's it going, everybody? It's Shen. All right, so this is going to be a how to make your boot video full screen here. So, the first thing we're going to do, we jump right into it, is I'm going to go ahead and navigate to this location here. And I don't know, I'm really lazy. I don't really like typing stuff out, so I'm going to just copy and paste. But we're going to go to the Steam UI in the CSS page. And from there, we want to go ahead and copy the library CSS. We'll copy that to a second place here. Now, you don't really need to do this, but it's kind of good to be able just to have a backup just in case here. Um, I put it always to a USB drive, but you can just put it into a different location on the Steam Deck here. And then you're going to go ahead and open it up and your copy here. I do this in Windows, so I'll be showing you the screenshot of the comparison on Windows here. But you can be able to do this directly on the Steam Deck with the UK right. And when you open it here, you're gonna get this little notification about temporary raise limit and reload foul. You can go ahead and be able to do that and maybe to make the modification that way. I do this on Windows mainly because I can have a backup copy. I can do this on multiple Steam Decks. That way all I have to do is just kind of copy and paste it over to the actual Steam Deck. That way I don't have to redo the whole file over and over again. Also at the same time, I've got more consistent results doing it outside of the Steam Deck. I don't know, for some reason k right doesn't want to actually work with me all the time here. So once you do that, you're gonna go down to pretty much the very bottom of the file here. And you're gonna go for this little section right here. And that says the whole width. Now, originally it's gonna say width 300 pixels and height 300 pixels. You're gonna change both of those to 100%. And you're gonna add a little space in here. Now, it's gonna be a slightly different. There's a space right before width and right after the semicolon width. And again, I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside the uh, windows. I have it where comparison where you can see both sides of it. And it should look something similar to that. Once you do that, Go ahead and save your settings or save your edits on there. The reason why you want to make sure you have the space in there is that you want to make sure that the character amount is the exact same. Go ahead and save it. You can either reload it, um, go ahead and reboot afterwards, or if you have it done in Windows like I have, just copy it over into the same location, overwrite it once we're there, or just delete it and just copy over what you already have edited. Boot it and you're good to go. And that's all there is to it. This is Shin. I'm out.